He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it. Okay, so we are into episode 58. Thank you so much to everybody that has followed the series all the way through. If you've just joined us, we did miss out on uh, promotion in the uh, semi-finals of the playoffs, but it was against Bristol City who did go up. So, I mean, there's some consolation in there. Swansea smashed the season, leads Bristol City. So looking at the uh, stats for the squad, obviously everyone's on holiday at the moment. Looking at the stats overall, similar to the last game, that we actually showed you where we had a look. So, Carlin Grant way out in front with 17 goals, 6 assists. Louis Sibley, 7 goals, 2 assists. Morgan, Whit Morgan Whitaker 7 goals, 4 assists. Adriai Bernabe, uh, or Bernabe, 5 goals, 5 assists. Jimmy Muir, 5 goals and assists. Nico Williams, 4 goals, 4 assists. Uh, Benoit, who came in in January, actually got two goals and an assist. Elliot Moore got two goals. Anoma, uh, Anoma sorry, got two goals. Assist-wise, is there anyone we missed off there? Battersby got four. Joel Lopez, three. So we'll have a little move around. There's not a lot of goals in that, thinking about it. Transfers. Tom Lawrence, who was uh, had handed in a transfer request, is leaving. He's on 33 grand a week. I think we got about 3.4 million for him. Um, does it say? Yeah, 2.7 million, rising to 3.4 million. Uh, out of all the teams that came in for him, they were the only one that didn't want us to carry on paying some form of wages towards him. So that was never going to happen. I was never going to pay for him to go and play for someone else. Obviously, team of the season or team of the year, very heavily... Um, kind of uh, Swansea-based. This young gentleman that plays for Sunderland has got 21 goals this season, so we'll have to have a look at him, potentially signing him. But if, you, if you've played FM before, you'll know somebody has a good season, you sign them, and then they never, ever replicate that. So we'll see. Sessignon at right-back had a good season. I don't think he'll be good enough to play for us. Apart from that, who would you like to see playing in a Derby County shirt? Next year, we have to go for automatic uh, promotion because we're probably running out of time with uh, with Jimmy, actually. I did want to show you the top scorer. So it was uh, Neil Miller. Semen Semen Semenyo. Antoine Semenyo, he won that. We did try and sign him in uh, in January, but they just wouldn't let him go at all. And then this young gentleman we'll have a look at. Create a note for him. Sign, strike out. There we go. There will be a lot, a lot of ins and outs, I would have thought. Got to make sure that we've got a team that's capable of uh, of going up automatically. Manager of the year was Unai Emery at Swansea. Probably a very good fit. A manager that should be managing higher anyway. Um, I'll be back when I've got our overall kind of um, goal of the season, etc. Okay, so we're still waiting for the kind of end of season review when it comes in with the goal of the season that was voted for by our club so just wanted to go through it so Callum Grant was our top scorer he was obviously had our highest average rating due to the goals he had the most assists Louis Sibley uh, had the best pass completion and Grant had the most uh, player of the match awards got a C plus since we took over obviously we actually finished what's that nine points behind second so that's three wins we need to find from somewhere. We are rich. We have a national reputation. And just looking in our records, our highest position of the season, we were second. 
obviously that must have been before we were there. Lowest was all the way down in 16th, and we took over slightly higher than that. Our highest gates was Newcastle, where we got a million pound from that. Our average attendance was 28,000, which isn't too bad at all. Our lowest was 23. Our highest was 32, nearly 33. Our biggest win was a 5-0 win against uh, Cardiff, which we were in charge of. Our biggest defeat was actually a team we were in charge of at the time, Blackpool, beating 5-0. We sold uh, Angel Gomez for 15.5 million and bought the, the Belarusian guy for half of that. Apart from that, clean sheets, Joan Lumley broke, broke the record. And, uh, yeah, we've got a few players going to be leaving. There'll be a lot coming in. Yanis Anton ended up going on loan at uh, Blackpool, scored four goals, got two assists, so five goal contributions in 14 games. And just finally, let's have a little look at the previous clubs we've been at. Blackpool finished fifth, uh, 14th, sorry, so way clear of relegation. QPR, Cardiff and Preston going down. Into League One. I think had York already been relegated. Let's have a look. York finished 9th. In that league. And finally, let's see if we can find Dorkin. They got relegated from the National League. So there you go. I really hope you've enjoyed the series. And um, this was just a quick season review. There will be a lot of ins and outs, so we'll try and make sure that we get all of them. I don't think we achieved really what we were trying to this season but if you could like the video it means a massive difference to us shows that we're doing something good comment if you think we should have done anything different or who we should sign subscribe to us if you're watching and you, you've been on twitter can you re uh, retweet it share it as far as you can we've got up to 35 uh, subscribers at the moment which is fantastic uh, and i really hope you're enjoying it i'll see you soon